As you know from the last video, we finally made it to Gizu in the Solomon Island. We spent the first few days resting, discovering the city, restocking the boat with food, etc. and also uploading YouTube videos before getting on our way. The main plan is that we have to go from Gizu to Onyara, the capital of the Solomon Island, in about a month. In between, we would like to go around the western province because there's a lot of stops that are quite interesting for diving but also for discovering the Solomon culture. We've just anchored in about 27 meters, something like that. <laughs> no, the anchor is that. 18 meters and we are now at uh, 30 meters so <laughs> crazy anyways so we've anchored here because we want to go and do a bit of snorkeling around uh, an island that's called kennedy island and this is where we are going yeah. i just want to be with you yeah, i just want to be with you i just want to dance all night forget my problems i might Kennedy, who was a lieutenant at the time, um, was the captain of a boat called PT-109. The PT-109 was wrecked by a Japanese attack near Kolombengara Island. Unfortunately, because this island was home to a Japanese camp, Kennedy and his crew decided to swim to Plumpeding Island, which will then be renamed Kennedy Island. The island was small and had no option for food or fresh water, so a few days later, the crew decided to swim to Olasana Island. The next day, Kennedy and another guy swam one hour to Nauru Island, where they found two islanders who help organize the rescue. For our next stop, we're going into a village which is around Blackett Strait, and we've been told that from there the chief of the village can take us diving. Inside my own world of make believe, kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross out the ones. I'll leave that to the sharks. So bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's all right. Hush. Let's go for a dive, guys. Let me eat my weight and glee 
Diamond Narrows. Western province, you can find this area which is called the Vuna Vuna Lagoon. In this lagoon, we've got the island called Lola, which is home to Zipulu Habu Resort. Unfortunately, as you can see on the satellite view, it's not as easy for a boat to go there. So, what we have to do is go all the way around these islands in order to reach Lola. It's already getting dark, but we've had quite a nice day. This lagoon seems to be very nice. I can't wait to be tomorrow to start exploring. So tomorrow we're gonna go for a snorkel. Uh, but before that, we're gonna go to a place nearby, which is called Skull Island. So we haven't done any research because we don't want any spoiler. And Jan and I have a bet. So I think it's called Skull Island because it must have the shape of a skull. And he thinks that it's probably due to skulls being buried on the island. So let's go tomorrow and let's find Find out. Hey, pretty baby, am I in your way? Cause you walked out so fast yesterday. No, I don't think you're here to stay. No, I don't think you're here to stay. So tell me what you want. Tell me how you want it. So it turns out Skull Island is indeed the name of this because it's full of skulls. So it's during head hunting times, warriors would bring back the head of their enemy to offer them to the gods in order to increase their strengths. The island also contains the skulls of chiefs in a shrine with Shalmoni. All the skulls date back from around 1920s, so not that long ago. We're gonna jump in the water and have a little swim and let's see if we can see some stuff under the water. We are going to the city of Munda. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. Yeah. I just want to be with you. Yeah. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. Yeah. I just want to be with you. Yeah. I just want to be with you. I just want to dance all night. Forget my problems. I might.
Don't forget to give a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you haven't already. Have a good night. I just wanna be with you.